This video is going to be a complete guide to the double safety walk down defense in Madden 25 and kind of going in depth on how to use this defense to stop a variety of formations that you're going to be seeing, whether it's bunch, tight trips, quad formations, all of that stuff that you're going to see um, in this in this year's game. And this is going to be out of the Jets playbook. If you guys want to get my full dollar defensive ebook, it is available in the school community, school.com slash Cody Ballard. I'll put a link to that in the description. Kind of shows you in depth on uh, how I like to run the defense. Uh, and also we have other ebooks on there as well, such as Nickel Double Mug, 335 Odd, 335 Cub, all that stuff on the school site. You can get everything by being a member for just 10 bucks. And if you want to sign up, the link is going to be in the description below. So again, this is the specifically the double safety defense out of Dime 3-2, also known as Dollar. So real quick, we're going to go over uh, coaching adjustments for this. This is very important. These are the coaching adjustments you need to have um, when running this defense. You want to have auto flip off, your auto alignment on base, your option defense on conservative, and then you can set zone drops as needed throughout the scheme. But as a general rule of thumb, I do not set zone drops. And then the other thing that we're going to do is show you our actual defensive settings here. And these actually, I guess you can't show them on practice. But I thought you could. Um, the basic tips that I have for settings is essentially you want to have ball hawk on. You want to have your switch stick set to slight delay. And then you want to have your uh, switch assist. I would leave that off. Um, you can turn it on. I don't know that it makes a big difference either way. Okay. Audibles for the scheme. This is very important because you are going to be audibling into whatever play that you're going to run. So the way that I like to run this defense is I like to have the DB fire two as my first audible as this is kind of the main blitz within this formation. Now, there is a secondary blitz. There's The cool part about Dollar is that it has a send three pressure. It has a send four pressure, a send five pressure. And if we really wanted to, we could leave this hot blitz three in as our basic send six pressure. I don't think you need to send six in this game. I feel like the coverage is too bad if you send six this year. You kind of need to be in a send five or send four. So I, I don't really like to send more than five. So for that reason, we're going to take hot blitz out of the audibles and we're going to put a coverage defense in here. Now, one of the really cool things that they did in this year's game is they added match coverage into the dollar defense, which I love that. I think that's really cool. Uh, situationally, we'll use that. I'm not going to get too far into match right now because I'm going to do a separate video on match coverage. But so, so for that purpose, I'm going to put the cover three cloud in here because you have the DB fire two, cover three cloud, cover four. So a really good coverage combinations here. And then the last one that I'm going to set is this free safety zone blitz. If you wanted to, you could also, if you, if you, uh, if you really wanted to, you could set this overload three blitz. If I can find it overload three seam. I actually think for my in my opinion, I think overload three seam is a little better than free safety zone blitz, and I'll kind of cover why uh, when we get into the blitz setups. So those are our main things, but what I would really recommend that you do is this double safety defense. If you double tap this, it'll put it in the favorites, and then if you – I think you can only see this in game, but this way you can kind of only have to see that play because that's the play you're going to be coming out in every single time for this defense and the reason why is because when you come out in this and you have it base aligned like this it walks the safeties down now if we wanted to we could leave it just like this and we could play man coverage the way we would play man coverage in this is we would just take this right side safety that's blitzing and man him up to the tight end and honestly we could literally just call the play call the defense like this and this wouldn't be terrible this is a, a five-man pressure that has the chance to come in and then you have good coverage behind it. If you wanted to make it a four-man pressure, uh, this is kind of what I like to do if I want to place mix in some man here. What we could do is if we wanted to make it a four-man pressure, then we'll cross-man the tight end. We may man this guy up here on the outside guy, and then we'll soft squat this guy over here on the right. So now it's a four-man pressure. Uh, we'll talk about those blitzes here as we go, but you kind of see this. Uh, this is what it is. Now, Let's talk about the blitzing aspect of the defense. So the first send four pressure that I like is really out of anything. Uh, what you can do is you can just contain and you're going to blitz the slot corner on the running back side. 
And then from there, you can craft your coverage. So however we want to set this up. So in this case here, maybe we'll man this guy up on the running back. You know, maybe we'll man this guy on the outside. We'll have a soft squad over here. You know, however you want to structure your coverage. But what this will do, a lot of times this guy will loop around the edge. And again, you can do this. You can kind of mix this send four out of pretty much any play in dollar. That time didn't come in. Obviously, a send four is not going to come in every single time. You can also do this out of DB Fire 2. So if we wanted to do it out of DB Fire 2, we just basically zone out this guy. All we have to do is contain now. And we're just going to try to get this guy to loop around the edge. And as you see, he's able to. Now, another way that you can get this send four to come in potentially a little bit better is to use the linebacker on the side that the blitz is coming in. So you see here the blitz is going to come in off the left side. So we use the linebacker here. And here you see we get a little bit more of that looping type of pressure. So that's one element and one thing you can do for a send four. Um, and then the send five pressures uh, is basically just doing that out of DB Fire 2, and all we're going to do is we're just going to contain. And when I do this, I normally am going to shade underneath. And then if you want to re-soft squat outside, the soft squat zone is probably the best zone in the game this year. So you could do that. And as you see here, now we're going to get this pressure to come in a little bit more consistently. Okay. So this is the idea in terms of, you know, kind of how this works. Now, this defense is really not a, a blitz-heavy defense. I don't recommend you blitz-heavy in this. But situationally, if you send four um, or you send five, you can actually get this to come in. So you see here, and I'm going to get a little bit more down with my user, kind of get a little bit more aggressive, and you're going to see that these things will come in, these guys will come in a little bit better. So one of the things that I like about this send five pressure is it has the potential – to come in against a blocked running back. So right here, try to get this to come in against a blocked running back. That time the guard actually did a really good job. But in general, you know, you have the DB fire too that you can go to. And then you also have uh, this free safety blitz. Now this free safety blitz is really good specifically on uh, the right hash mark. So what you're going to see here is if I move the ball to the right hash, this free safety blitz will become a thousand times better. So we can run this out of man or zone. If we want to run it out of man, all we need to do is put the safety on the left side here in coverage. So it might look something like this. And you see this is a send four. Now, I like to contain out of this. You can kind of use it right in here. And you'll see a lot of times this guy will basically just come through the A gap. The same, uh, the same is true out of this overload three seam play. So the reason I like this overload three seam play is because if you want to pinch your D-line, this um, out of free safety zone blitz, this guy will sometimes pinch. Uh, it'll kind of mess up the alignment, whereas in this one, it doesn't really. Now, notice that if he does get blocked, oftentimes there's like an auto shed that will occur as well with this defense. So that's another reason why, you know, I just think this is one of the best ways to play. And you'll see here, this time the guard's kind of picking it up. We're getting that auto shed again and again and again. But in general, this is, this is the... This is the um, the overload, overload three seam. Now, if I leave these guys spread out, I bet you it probably comes in clean. Yes, it does. So there you go. Now, with DB Fire 2, uh, the one drawback to DB Fire 2, in my opinion, is when you pinch, you'll see that this slot corner on the right side, he'll kind of pinch in like this, and this isn't what we want. So if you ever, if you ever want to kind of prevent that from happening, it's always the corner on the right. All you have to do to stop this is put this corner in any assignment that's not a blitz. So we're just going to man him up here, pinch the D-line, and then we get the contain, and then we can re-blitz him on the outside. And now we're able to get this pinch alignment that is normally a little bit more advantageous just in terms of stopping the run. And in general, I actually think this makes the DB fire blitz a little bit better um, whenever, you, whenever you pinch your D-line because you can kind of easily go this way and they can kind of loop around the tackles that way. So... These blitzes are a lot better in game than what I'm showing here in practice mode, but just know that this is this is certainly a way that you could you could play this. So you see how sometimes these guys uh, flip flop, and that's that's just kind of a, a little bit of a bug in my opinion uh, with the pinch line and stuff like that. But but anyways, that is um, that is the the uh, bl main blitzing aspect of this defense, and you can do it. You don't have to be in DB Fire 2. You can run this out of cover four. So, like, if I want to run a cover four base defense, I just blitz this slot corner on the left, zone this guy, maybe put him in a hard flat, shade underneath, and now it's basically the same defense. 
that I was just in, and you see that this guy kind of loops around. And again, we're just trying to make them feel pressure. We're not trying to, this is not double mug, right? This is not double mug where you're going to be screaming every single time. This is, you know, I'm almost more of a mix in, if you will, uh, with the pressure right now in terms of the way that it works. Okay. So that's how I kind of like to see it. I just like to simply every now and then send a send five, send a send four. Um, I'm not really, I'm not, you know, I think the send four out of this is really good. Like DB fire two. If I just take this guy on the right side and put him in a vert hook. And then let's say I just man this guy up to the tight end or man this guy up to the slot or something. And then I can switch stick from this. The whole point of this defense is really the coverage, which is what we're about to get into, and really the switch sticking aspect. That is the main, I think, key to Dollar is its ability to consistently be the best switch stick defense that we've seen. And also just the coverage, of, um, just the disguising of the coverage, I think in Dollar is really, really, really good. Normally you're going to be on this guy, but there's really not a big deal if you're on this guy over here as well. So like – you can kind of like just disguise your user a lot more in dollar than you can in, in other formations. So every now and then, if you really wanted to get kind of crazy with this, uh, with this a gap blitz, I have not really seen this come in a ton, but one thing you can try to do is you can user this D end here and just send the three man. Sometimes that will come in. It didn't right there, but, um, Sometimes it will. It's a very, it's, it's, it's like a very obviously passive blitz, you know, but, but this, if this comes in, obviously you're literally only sending three people. You see that time it kind of tried to come in. So I'm going to leave that there for now, but that's pretty much dollar. Now this free safety zone blitz is not anywhere near, uh, or I'm doing it out overload three seam, but it's really not that good on the left hash mark. Um, it's okay. But basically, if you're going to send it on the left hash mark, it's just I would never – I just wouldn't expect it to come in as much, right? It's just normally going to be more of a shed defense. But if you send four, you do get really good sheds, and why wouldn't you send four out of free safety zone blitz, right? So uh, – or overload three seam for that matter. Okay, so those are kind of the main ways in which you're going to get pressure in this defense. It's either going to be a send three, a send four, or a send five. I think just literally – Basic DB fire is is pretty good um, for the send five here because if I block a running back, I actually do have a legitimate chance that this guy he's running into the tight end. But the send five out of this is probably the best. I think it's the, one of the better send fives because if they if they do block a running back, sometimes this guy will just come in off the right side. Now, as you see there, so and I don't think I blocked running back, but anyways, um, and then if you ever wanted to. You know, you could send five like this as well. So this is another method in which we can send five. And I'll show you one other thing you can do out of overload three seam that I think is really cool. So what you could do out of overload three seam um, is you can actually blitz the safety on the left side. And then you could take this guy on the left side, put him in a zone. And it would look something like this. And this is essentially kind of the same idea as free safety zone blitz. But the difference is that the free safety's blitz angle is slightly different, which does, I think, make it a little bit more uh, effective against most, against the way most people set up their pass protection. But again, the hallmark, and there you see we get that B gap. So the biggest thing here is definitely not the pressures, though. I wanted to get into coverage. So the first thing that I want to show you is really just the basic idea and basic coverage that you can use against almost anybody in this game. And that is essentially a send four with this A-gap blitz. And then we're just going to take the safety, put him in a hook curl. We're going to put this corner on the left in a deep half, which will prevent any bombs. And we're going to take the slot on the left side and put him in a hard flat. And we're going to shade underneath. Now, I like to put my user in a hook curl. Uh, you don't have to do that. But essentially what this allows us to do is we can easily switch stick all over the field. So let's say they run a combo like this, a really good combo right now. And we're pretty much always shading underneath this year. But basically here I could switch stick to here. I can come back, right? It's, it's a little difficult to show two controllers, but the switch stick in dollar is really, really effective, and this is what makes this defense good. It's not necessarily the blitz. Like the blitz is good, 
Um, it's good enough to where they're going to have to block a running back occasionally. But look, look at how fast I'm able to just simply switch to the corner here. And then I could have switched sticked back to here to take away to wait, take away this route. Um, you know, and then you could obviously you get your you just get your switch stick on basically is the idea. So this is a very easy shell that is very good. Now, if you want a simple deep coverage defense, every now and then I just go into cover four drop, just shade underneath, and we're just lurking. We're just trying to get a switch stick. Right? We're just we're just working on our switch stick. That's the biggest, you know. I think if you literally want to practice I honestly think like practicing switch stick, go into a random game. And then just do this. Just switch stick out of cover four. Right? And just kind of work on, you know, how you're reading the field and uh, switch sticking. So cover four is a big one. Um, this cover three cloud is really good for bunch. Now, obviously, this is bunch to the right. So I understand that. If you wanted to – you, but the cool part about this defense, watch, I can flip the play. Um, once I audible, I can flip the play. Nobody's going to move. So we can easily just flip this. I don't think you have to be blitzing four um, this year. So I've been actually just sending three. And honestly, I don't feel like it's that big of a difference and from a shed perspective. And then you can just do things like bluff blitz somebody um, on the field as well. And you'll see we'll get pretty decent sheds out of this. And then we'll also uh, just cover the field very well. So one of my favorite coverages – is just this basic cover through cloud. I like to shade underneath, and then I'm going to soft squat that outside player. Um, typically here, I'm also going to shade outside and underneath, and the reason why is so that yellow zone plays almost like a hard flat. He'll kind of play like a hard flat, then they have to throw into that. You see I'm right there with my, with my defender. Now, the other thing that this soft squat is good for is it's really good at defending these corners. So if they're running a lot of corners, you know, this is something that you could possibly employ. So we go to cover through cloud here. Shade outside, shade underneath, and then re-soft squat this guy. And you'll see here that that soft squat does a really good job of playing the stemmed corner route. So then this kind of takes away uh, corner routes. And then if they're running like a lot of, you know, let's say they're running like a lot of speed outs here to the left side, one of my other defenses that I like to go to is this is going to kind of – this is kind of your corner route defense. Like if they're running a lot of corner routes, right – this would be something that you could run that's pretty decent. And it's basically just DB fire two. The key with this is you're going to shade underneath, and then you're going to re-soft squat these guys. And then what I like to do when I run this defense is, especially against like a bunch set, I'm normally going to send four and have that slot on that vert hook. And then my user is normally going to be manned up to the slot receiver. So as you see the route combo here, what I can easily do is I can just switch stick off onto this D-path and be able to cover the whole middle of the field. Now, I know the underneath is open here, but this soft squad on the left side will do a really good job of defending that, that out route. And then the, uh, we just showed that last time too, but that does a really good job of defending that, that uh, deep route as well. So that's one of my main defenses um, is to kind of get into this DB fire. Again, I really like sending four in this game. You know, so even if it's something like this, I think this is a really good base, base defense, just simple, simple, and you're going to stop a lot of stuff. Now, I think the key is when you, when you do this, I really think shading underneath helps these vert hooks play a lot better, and then you would just leave this guy manned up. And basically what this allows you to do is you can either stay on him with your user um, or if you see like he's just running a fade, for example, let's kind of run this back, you know, but if we legitimately got a route combo and this is one of the best route combos in the game is the reason I'm showing it so much is, you know, if we got something like this, well, now I can just switch stick off here and kind of come underneath and just take this in route. And that pretty much takes this combo away. And as I said, this is one of the best, best combos in the game. But what this does is it just makes it so that you don't have to really worry about the outside on the bunch side, uh, with your user. Now, another really popular offense that a lot of people like to run is this bunch strong nasty. Now, normally what you're going to see is they're going to run, you know, basically this kind of similar combo. Um, it's going to look something like this here. And like I said, if normally 
you're gonna have them blocking. If they're sending five out, if they're sending five out, eventually you're gonna scream at them, um, especially with the free safety or overload three seam on the hash mark. But when I play this coverage again, I normally know the tight ends on the post with most combos, so I just man him up here, you know. And then if we get this, then I can just kind of switch stick down in here and take this away. So that's a that's a, a way that I will defend. Bunch strong nasty again. If you you got to kind of think about like where are the hot spots, if you will, for where they're trying to attack. It's really bunch sets. It's normally going to be this uh, right side. So I almost always am having this soft squad on the right. So even if I was in, let's say I was in the cover three defense, you know, it might look something like an inside quarter here with a hard flat on the left. And then now we're able to go deep half, soft squat, and then some type of man up here is normally what I'm trying to kind of be in. And, you know, you're still, you know, and then if we were going to invert this and send four this way, then it would just look like this, right? But I like to do it like this. If I was, you know, this is another good way to, to run it. And, and, and essentially, if you think about it, what's open with this, within this defense, well, occasionally I'll bring this guy down, put him on a hook curl to the left side, and I know that my job is really to carry stuff across the field. So you'll see here, we'll kind of take that down. We might switch stick onto the third and try to take that away. You know, but basically, that, that's kind of my, my territory, my ground um, to cover. So that's why I like you know, kind of how you want to adjust out of understanding – you know, really where the hot spots are. If you think about this formation, for the most part, they're trying to attack the right side of the field, right? The right seam, the right corner, the right flat. Those are the main hot spots. You know, so if we could, even something as simple as just manning up the running back here is not a bad adjustment at all. Um, and then the other thing that I like out of dollars, I think the contains do a really good job of containing, kind of keep... It just forces them to have to work to beat you um, is, is basically, you know, is, is, is basically what, what's going on here. So, you know, I might do something like this. Now, if I'm running this defense, I know that I'm probably going to switch stick onto this vert hook. So, you know, in this case here, snap ball, switch stick here, kind of midpoint, right? But that's not too bad of defense. So that's pretty much how I like to use this defense to defend Bunch strong. Um, and Bunch, another really good just kind of basic defense for Bunch. The thing that Bunch has struggled with pretty much every year that I've been playing is occasionally man coverage. So if I was to go to DB Fire 2, what I would probably do is man up, like kind of almost like a cross band type of man ups where we do something like this. And we, we have that soft squat still over there for – corner route protection and then what we're able to do is this adjustment has been gold against bunch for forever just a scissor um, just essentially manning everybody up with a soft squat to the right but the way we're kind of getting to it is scissoring and then you'll see here all I really have to do is take this crosser and then that soft squat should go underneath and actually guard that running back in route if he does run underneath um, you could also do you know just a, a real basic you know send five like this out of a man coverage alignment. You're already manned up, basically. So those are kind of the mainstay adjustments that I like to do against Bunch for the most part. Um, you know, and, and again, you can you can occasionally just mix in, like, just mixing in these, like, basic defenses like this. This is a base defense that's really good just to send four. And that's normally my right hash. Like, if I'm on the right hash, I'll probably run that setup. And then my left hash is normally we could just shade underneath, soft squat both of these guys, you know, and then I just kind of run down, switch stick onto this vert hook, you know, and you kind of see how this works. And then, you know, okay, now it's time for a coverage setup. Let's go to this cover three cloud and do it like this, you know, where we shade down and we re-soft squat. And you see how this just the, just the field coverage in general you're able to able to really close off a lot of the throwing lanes. Again, this is more of a coverage-based defense than a blitz-heavy defense. But I do think in this year's game, this is really effective because you can switch stick so well. Like, I can just go here, 
you know, and then I can switch stick off of him. And, and, and I think, you know, that's the mentality um, is really this defense is a switch stick defense, right? Now, if you wanted to, you could occasion, let's say you want to send four more, um, you know, you could do something like, like this. I mean, this is another way in which we could kind of get to it. Or I really like the quarter, quarter, half, you know, where we're doing this or we're manning up that tight end. I really like the man up at the tight end in this formation, you know, something like this. Okay. We could switch stick underneath, right? But you really want to really, really, really want to use the switch stick feature. Now, the last couple of things I wanted to go over is defending a trip style formation. So let's say, and this is really good and really effective for defending trip style formations. You're going to be much better against like bubble screens and stuff like that just because you have kind of a, again, just more field coverage. The thing you don't want to do against trips, so the thing you do want to do against trips is you want to send this A gap because a lot of times trips is going to be on the right hash. So you want to do something, really something like this where we're able to man up the slot receiver. Maybe we go with a... Um, honestly, man does really well against trips, so even just something like like this would be perfectly fine. I'd probably ban this guy up here knowing that I'm going to switch stick off the rip. You know, but essentially here, you're going to get that A-gap. You know, a lot of times that will come in, and then you're going to kind of cover the field. So that's one way to do it. Um, another way to kind of attack trips is to try to blitz off this tight end side out of DB fire. Now, the thing you don't want to do if you're playing this against trips and you're in DB fire, you don't want this soft squat deep half combination on the right uh, or on the left side. You like it soft squat deep half against the tight end, perfectly fine. Soft squat deep half against trips, perfectly bad. <laughs> so what you want to do is you want to outside quarter this outside defender. You want to seam flat this slot corner, and you want to inside quarter this right side guy or this, um, this left side safety. This is going to activate a match defense, and then you have this hard flat underneath. I would honestly just man him up to the tight end, and essentially you're kind of taking the running back yourself if he goes out on a route, but you'll see that this kind of activates a match defense where that inside trips receiver is always going to get matched, the middle trips receiver is always going to get matched, and the outside trips receiver is always going to get matched out of this. And again, the way you activate this is with this seam flat. So, you know, seam flat, quarter, quarter is really the, the technique that I like to have. And then I really like, you know, kind of this, this style defense like this, you know, and then I'd, I'd have this guy manned up. Always have, I think the tight end manned up is really good this year. You know, even if you man him up from the outside and you just use her here, right, that's fine. This is a really good defense. And you'll see that that seam flat will not only match the vertical streak, it'll also match any corner routes or anything like that. Now, if you don't feel comfortable playing match coverage, uh, what I like to tell people, the cover three cloud is still going to be really effective. The, diff the only difference between this and bunch in terms of cover three cloud that I like to tell people is you want to shade down, you want to soft squat, but then you want to make sure that that triangle receiver is manned up. Um, this is just going to help significantly with just making sure that you know they don't have some of the some of the throwing lanes that they want because they want to throw that. A lot of trips players want to throw kind of that seam streak to the triangle receiver, so you're able to take that away uh, with that adjustment. Now another kind of really just basic defense against trips that's really good is cover four, and then uh, what I like to do is we're going to middle third this right side guy we're going to man up the two trips receivers like so, and then we're going to hard flat this hook curl. So just something that looks like this. This is a very basic shell um, that kind of mixes up because now we're not running cover two anymore. We're running cover four, and you see that these cross mans are really, really just cross manning the trips is really effective. So, again, if we go back to kind of DB fire and use that as another principal defense, you know, if we were to take, let's say, you know, we want to we want to cross band this. Well, what we'll do is we'll take the safety and man him up on the outside guy. We'll take this guy, man him up on triangle. We'll take the linebacker, man him up on this guy. You know, and then we can literally run a defense like this. Like this is perfectly fine. Um, the only thing you might do is take that soft squat and put him in an outside third. Or honestly, it should be fine against verticals. 
you should be able to catch up to this because that soft squat will also carry it. And so you see that does a really good job. Now I got to run underneath with a tight end. Um, but in general, that does a pretty decent job of defending trips. So those are some of my favorite coverage defenses and shells that I like to use uh, to lock down trips type sets. I just think something very simple like this is really effective against trips. And, you, you know, a lot of times that A-gap blitzer will come in in game. And then you have, you know, you kind of just have all sorts of other other things you can do. Honestly, the other cool part is you're in this free safety defense. And if you look here, this isn't really bad coverage. All we need to do is we just need to take this safety on the left, man him up on the circle, take the safety on the right, man him up to the tight end, and then just have a soft squat to the outside player. And you see that this is pretty much a complete defense and optimized for a formation like trips. And there you see we get that A-gap in, and that's going to give trips a lot of trouble. So there you have it, guys. That is the dollar defense that I like um, just in terms of the double safety and really just optimizing it for switch sticking. You, you have a send three pressure in here, which is basically your cover three cloud or your cover four drop where you're dropping eight people. You have a send four pressure where situationally you can actually get pressure in this defense sending pressure with only sending four people. And then you have um, a secondary send four that I really like that's really versatile because it's really not hash dependent. And in this, um, you know, in this DB fire defense, you know, where we could be relatively quickly in a kind of really good coverage defense. You know, here this is a send four off the left side. You see he loops around a lot out of this. And then you also have a send five version of this where, you know, we're going to maybe do something like this. And now we're sending five at you, a little bit more pressure. We're going to be ramping that pressure up. And then if we really wanted to, we actually have a send five out of this overload three seam, you know, where we're able to just send the safety. Show you that. Just send the safety here. And sometimes this can create um, really nice pressure for you. And then we also have, if we really, really, really wanted to send the goons, we could always just send DB fire two and then just blitz this guy through the B gap. A lot of times this will come in, even if they block a running back, as you see it loops around the edge, even though it is a sin six. So you have a complete pressure package from this. You also have cover four, cover three, uh, cover three, cover two coverages, and a man coverage defense. And then now they actually added uh, an entire library of match coverages to this defense making it, I think, just the best coverage that you could possibly get because you could cross-man a bunch of people. You have these slot corners that are in really good alignment for things like RPOs and things of that nature. Um, one of my favorite defenses here would be this Cover 3 Cloud. We didn't even show this, but this is a really, really good defense for trips um, because, as you see here, you, have, you saw that deep cloud flap, but now you have like an outside third kind of rolling over the top of it. So that's dollar, guys. If you guys want to check out the rest of this defense and have a, a little bit more of how to optimize the blitzes and specific setups and all that stuff, make sure you get into the school site, school.com slash Cody Ballard. That will get you access to all of my offensive and defensive ebooks, both for college football and for Madden 25. And it is always getting updated so that you guys can stay on top of the best ways to play the game. Thanks for watching the video. And to sign up for the school community, head down to the description and click the link down below.